Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Five Minute Econometrics. Today, I will introduce the causal effect. In most economic research, we try to establish a causal relationship between two variables. Suppose education is the explanatory variable and labor income is the outcome variable. We try to find the causal effect of educational attainment on workers' annual earnings. How much more a worker earns if she has one more year of schooling? The notions of causal effect, causality, causation, and causal relationship are interchangeable. They mean an explanatory variable causes the outcome to occur. According to Professor Stock and Watson's textbook, Introduction to Econometrics, causality means a specific action, such as applying one more unit of fertilizer, leads to a specific measurable consequence, such as five kilograms more potatoes. We should keep in mind some points. First, the correlation between two variables does not necessarily mean causality. Simply finding an association between variables is a starting point. It helps establish a causal relationship. But correlation and causality are not identical concepts. Economists come up with various methods and approaches to identify the causal relationship between variables. It leads to the second point. We often have observational rather than experimental data. In econometric analysis, it results in problems in estimating causal effects. Observational data are also called non-experimental data or retrospective data. Experimental data are often collected in controlled environments in natural sciences, but they are almost impossible to obtain in economics because of extremely high costs. Moral issues, or just simply being impossible, since we could not control relevant variables like in scientific experiments, estimating the causal relationship between variables is difficult. Specification strategies and identification methods are employed to find unbiased or consistent estimates for the causal effects. Third, the notion of Cetera's parables. Plays a central role in causal analysis. Cetera's parables means all other relevant factors being equal. In other words, we must hold other factors constant when we analyze the causal relationship. Most economic questions are Cetera's parables by nature. For example, the law of demand states that as a goods price increases, the demand for that good decreases. While holding all other factors such as income, price of its substitutes, price of its complements, and consumers' tastes fixed, we must keep those relevant factors fixed when we use econometric models to test this economic theory. A direct way to hold the other factors fixed is to include those variables in the model if they are observable and measurable. If they are unobservable, then we put them in the error term and use econometric methods to find consistent estimates for the causal effects. These methods include instrumental variables, simultaneous equations, selection bias correction, panel data fixed effects, and difference in differences. Estimating the causal effect is not easy and needs lots of effort. But it helps us better understand the things around us and make a professional judgment on various issues. Finally, I would like to show you an example trying to estimate the causal effect of parents' income on their adult children's earnings in Stata. The dataset contains information on workers' hourly wages and their parents' average income in their childhood years. The simple regression of log wage on log parent income. Gives an estimate of 0.35. It represents the correlation between the two variables, but not the causal relationship.
we know that many demographic characteristics affect the workers' wages and also relate to parents' income. So we include age, age squared, race, gender, marital status, and region of residence in the multiple question. The estimate drops to zero point three zero. It comes closer to the causal effect, but unobserved factors in the error term may cause omitted variable bias. A further step towards causality is to employ the panel data fixed effects. The family fixed effects can capture the family-specific unobserved factors, leading to an estimate of zero point one three. It is a more consistent estimate for the causal effect of parents' income on adult children's earnings. Thank you for watching the five-minute econometrics. See you. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.